welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a graduation centerpiece for the class of 2018 here we go graduation centerpiece and for some reason today I am so inspired to make one all right guys let's get started I'm going to start by taking the top of my round paper mache box I'm not going to need it I'm only going to need the bottom and I'm going to be painting all of my boxes the round one I'm going to paint black the smaller one here I'm going to paint silver and the large one I'm going to paint gold Next, I'm going to take off these rubbery tabs from the cutting board. I'm just going to use a craft knife and I'm just going to pop them off. Then I'm going to paint it black. So here I have my round box and my cutting board, which is going to make my cap. You can definitely substitute the cutting board for black foam board. They're basically the same price. They're both a dollar, a dollar tree. And, um, but I like the cutting board because I didn't have to cut it. I didn't have to do anything to it except for painting it. And I also like the heaviness of it. It's going to make the centerpiece a little heavier, a little more solid. And to me, that makes it seem a little more expensive. <laughs> but that's totally me. Uh, it's totally mental. You can feel totally different. Whatever you would like, totally your choice. I'm also going to be adding or placing black diamond wrap on the cap. So this is definitely targeted towards a, a girl or woman's graduation party or centerpiece. But uh, if you're going to make this for a boy or for a man's graduation, you can definitely um, X this out unless that's something that he will like. I'm also thinking about adding flowers. So this is definitely um, a graduation centerpiece for a girl or for a woman. And in case you're wondering, I got this black wrap from Amazon and I will have it in my description box in case you want to purchase it. I'm going to measure and cut. You can choose to cover the whole thing, uh, the edges, if you will like. I'm not. I'm going to just leave it bare. So I'm just going to cover the top. So you're going to measure and cut the amount that you need. And I'm gonna glue it down with hot glue. Now I'm going to measure the amount of wrap I'm going to need on my box and then I'm going to glue it together. Next I'm going to glue these two together. So I'm just going to add some hot glue to the middle of the box and then I'm going to center it as best as possible. Now I'm going to use black craft thread to make the tassel for the cap. So all I'm going to do, I'm gonna use two of these. Here I have the second one. And this one is going to pretty much stay in, intact. Uh, this is the way I make tassels. You can do it uh, a different way. But I'm just going to open it up right here in the middle where it splits see that and then I'm going to grab a piece of 
<clears throat> the second one right here. I'm gonna make it long for now. And then I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to bring it through right here in the middle. And then I'm going to tie it. And it should look something like this. And now I'm going to cut open the bottom thread here. Now I'm going to add one row of diamond wrap right here to keep it together. And here it is. You can make it shorter if you like. I'm leaving it long for now. I might cut it uh, a little later. Now I'm going to place it right on top of my cap. But before I do that, I'm going to use one of these gems to place as a button on top of the cap. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it right here in the middle. And I'm going to place my tassel on this side because I'm going to have flowers on the opposite side. And I'm just going to roll it underneath the button because I'm not sure how long I'm going to need it to be yet. So I'm just going to leave it as is right now without cutting it. I'm also going to paint this multi-photo frame with chalkboard paint. The chalkboard frame is going to serve as the base of my centerpiece and then I'm going to stack the books on top and then the cap is going to be at the very top. But <laughs> even after all of that, I thought that the centerpiece wasn't tall enough for me. So I decided to add these napkin rings from Dollar Tree underneath the chalkboard frame in order to give it a little height. So let's see how that works. This looks horrible at the bottom because when I was painting it, uh, the paper that I was painting it on kind of got stuck to it. But no worries, no one is gonna look under that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to add some hot glue to the rings and then I'm just gonna glue them right on the back. I'm going to start stacking my centerpiece with my large gold book. I'm only going to add a little bit of glue, not too much. And I'm going to stack it towards the back. I'm going to place the box over the glass, not the actual frame. But you're going to leave enough room to the front so you'll be able to write whatever you like on the front. You can write a name or you can write the year of the graduation. And now I'm going to stack this silver smaller book. This is actually medium size if you go find it at Hobby Lobby. This is the medium one and this is the large one. And now I'm going to place the cap right on top, which is a little heavy because of the uh, board here, which I love just gives it a little more substance, you know? I don't know. Like I said, it's all mental. <laughs> um, I have to glue this down a little bit as well. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit to the corners. Just be very careful not to add too much because you don't want the glue to spill over and it looks just tacky and nasty, okay? Okay, so if you're going to make the centerpiece for a male, I suggest that you stop right here and right now. Um, you can choose to leave the diamond wrap on it because honestly, I think it's pretty unisex. I don't think it makes it look girly at all. I think it just makes it pop and it looks really, really beautiful. Um, another thing, I'm going to um, add letters to the boxes here. It's going to say class off and then I'm going to write 2018 or you can write whatever you want, congrats grad, and then you can write the name of your daughter or your son on here. Um, and this one is glitter letters. If you're going to um, use it for a mail, you can just buy something that's a little bit more matte. But I'm going to use glitter letters, but I'm not going to do this right now because I'm going to add flowers to it. So I may need to move the letters over. So I'm going to do the letters 
uh, a little later. I just wanted to let uh, the ladies know or whoever's making the centerpiece that if you're making it for a male, this is how it's going to look like. So I'm going to be draping about three to four flowers down the boxes, something like this. The leaves on here are pretty long. That's the only thing I'm concerned about, but I'll figure it out. All right, so I'm going to cut these and then I'm gonna start gluing down the side. like this <laughs> I don't want to add the letters it looks so pretty I'm kind of nervous about the letters um, but yeah it's gonna say class of what I don't like about this is that the box at the bottom is bigger and it's going to have off only and class has more letters on top I could write congrats grad um, yeah how about that let's see if I have enough all right let's see use number stencils to write 2018 on the chalkboard with chalk I'm not gonna free write because my handwriting as you know and as I always say is horrible so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, I'm going to cut the numbers here unfortunately because this is not going to fit there um, I didn't do it before because as you're working around the centerpiece uh, you can erase it with your hands so this is no biggie I want to add diamond wrap, the black diamond wrap around the borders of the uh, chalkboard frame. So I'm just gonna add some glue and I'm just going to wrap it around. And here's what the final look looks like. I wanna show you one more item I'm going to use for my setup. And uh, let me move this to the side. I purchased a charger, a regular charger from Dollar Tree. This was $1 and I painted it with chalkboard paint and look how nice it is. So nice. I cannot wait to see it on the table. All right guys, this is it. This is my graduation centerpiece for the class of 2018. And I absolutely, say it with me, love it. <laughs> I love it. I love the fact that you can write whatever you please right on top of the chalkboard. I love that. And um, I'm loving the flowers on it. And of course, I love, 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 love the black diamond wrap. It totally gives it the pop that it needs. And I really do believe that this centerpiece is pretty much unisex. It really is. Um, you can take away the flower if you don't think so. And you can take away the um, diamond wrap, but I think it will take away some of the you know magic of it. The total cost of this centerpiece was 32 bucks, but let me break it down to you. Everything that you see on here except for the diamond wrap was 17 bucks. The reason it's 32 bucks is because the diamond wrap cost $14.99 but it is totally worth it if you're going to make more than one centerpiece because all other centerpieces that you will make after this one will cost you 17 bucks because you can easily make about five to six centerpieces out of the same black diamond roll. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe right now. Also, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of my centerpiece and leave me a comment anyway because I love to read them all the time. Alright guys, until next time, bye.